CCP TV and politics and how it affects you. And I'm standing here today with Judge Todd Little here, here in Ellis County. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Good. It's been a long three months with all the stuff that's going on. And we're going to talk a little bit about a proclamation today that you just issued about two hours ago. And you probably won't read this till, or see this until after July 4th, but we're here before July 4th. So you are... you. You issued a proclamation that I was a little confused about, but overall it says that you are allowing people to gather more than 10. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, Rita, the governor's order as of yesterday did not allow for groups. It, it reduced the number of size of groups from 100 down to 10. And uh, I felt after re receiving hundreds of emails and hundreds of messages from citizens mm -hmm. for this upcoming July 4th weekend, okay. I felt it was important for me to go ahead and issue a proclamation saying that I agree with folks that have planned festivities and parties and weddings, okay. that they have the ability to have meetings or group settings over 10 people okay. for Ellis County. Okay. Now, obviously, it's important citizens understand, and we trust they have the ability and the wisdom to use caution right. with their family members, their friends, and their neighbors. Okay, and I think that one of the questions I mentioned I was gonna ask you is about what personal responsibility is to you, and I think that that is letting people think for themselves and have but you tell me, what, what is your definition of personal responsibility? Well, it's interesting that this is Independence Day weekend, right? Right, yeah. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> yes. it's kind of odd that the governor would issue an order on Janu on July 2nd. Right. Uh, I feel it's important for our citizens to have their freedoms, okay. their independence, and I think that July 4th represents that. Mm -hmm. And why would we put a damper on that? Right. Uh, obviously, we have to be smart. Uh -huh. We have to be cautious, so we mitigate as much spread here in our county as possible. Okay. But I believe that people have when you get into personal hygiene and personal decisions as to whether I can touch my face or am I I'm allowed to, right. that's not my job as county judge to mandate anything like that. Like that okay. All right. And then I had just a couple more questions for you really quick and I had to write that. Okay. So if you're okay with groups bigger than 10 gathering and not enforcing the mask mandate, then why don't you open the courthouse and commissioner's meetings? Well, we haven't closed any of those meetings to this point. Okay. Uh, we are considering a few changes. Okay. And the only changes that I'm aware of, if if necessary, would be taking of temperatures through a thermal camera or something like that at the door when you come in. Okay. Uh, you are but blocking commissioner, seats though, right? Commissioner's Court is open. We are only requiring six feet between people that okay. attend the Commissioner's Court meeting. Okay, great. Okay, I think we're out of time. I'm Rita Kidd. Thank you, Judge Little, for coming in. We're ECPTV. Thanks Thank for watching. So Hello, imagine a world where you rank number one with your video on Google. Hi, I'm Marcus from 3DA Marketing. I'd like to offer a solution for you. Contact me in the link below, Marcus at 3DA Marketing, and we can get you on the steps to making that a reality. Again, click on the link below and we can move forward with making you number one on the keywords you want and need to make your business grow better. Thanks. This is Marcus from 3DA Marketing. See you later. Hey, I'm Rita Cook. Hello, I am here now with um, Paul Perry, Ellis County Precinct 3 County Commissioner. Thank you for joining me yet again. I can always count on you. Welcome to beautiful Precinct 3. That's right. We're in Middle Othian, downtown Middle Othian. And um, okay, so one thing that we're going to talk about right now is a couple of people, you know, from both sides have been like, what's he doing filing a lawsuit about this latest? Um, order from Governor Abbott that you have to wear, is it that you have to not wear a mask, but that you can't gather more than 10 people? Well, tell me a little bit about well, what it's, you're doing. Well, it's, it's more about the, the mask assertion, and we haven't filed anything yet, but right. we're we are exploring our options. Mm -hmm. um, there, There's a point he made about fighting people without a mask. Okay. And he did encourage there to be a warning shot, but then again, legislatures make laws. And I don't think an executive makes a law. And I think if you look at the Texas Constitution, there's not a lot of wiggle room for him to be doing some of the things he's doing. The Supreme Court warned back in April that many of these orders would not pass their scrutiny if they made it that far up. Okay. So, you know, we're considering all of our options at this point. Have you had any luck finding an attorney that's willing to take on this case? I have talked to the current attorney who has gung ho to go after. Okay, and I think you mentioned before the camera came on that it would take at least six months. So is that something that will hinder you deciding to do this, or will it? You know, who knows what we're going to be in six months with this situation? Well, we were told that six months could be a realistic time, and uh, 
you know, we, we of course would eventually want to end up at the Supreme Court level okay. if, if we needed to. Sure. So that requires funding and that would require some time and those are all things we are going to work at. Okay. But I just don't believe that uh, the governor of the state of Texas should be deciding how much fines are, what they should be for, and even with an emergency order, with the emergency order itself is questionable. Okay. And on top of that, you get into the details of trying to say you can legislate law. Right. Uh, that's uh, it's incomprehensible. Okay. All right. So you guys stay tuned for that because I know that this is going to be something that you're going to be looking into. Is there anything else you want to say? This is going to be airing after the 4th of July, but I know that one of the main things that every county in Texas wants to say is be safe. Be socially responsible, but take that responsibility. Well, you know, fires always a risk in, in Ellis County this time of year with fireworks or whatever. I just encourage people if they're gonna if they're gonna use fireworks, have a means to put the fire out with you, okay. whether it's a fire extinguisher or a hose, and okay. and make sure your fires are out before you leave the area. We have that problem a lot. Okay. But, you know, I think I think it's also ironic that the governor would put this order out right before we celebrate our independence. <laughs> it's, it's 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 kind of demoralizing and. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I wonder if it was there to send a message. I, I, I'm a Republican. I am loyal to my party, okay. but I really question everything about this order. And I request that I, I really am amazed at the timing of this last order. Okay. You know, and and where do we? How do we tell people they can't enjoy the rivers, our, our rivers in, in you know south of Austin near San Antonio? How do we tell people you can't tube that river? You know how. Do, <laughs> You can't rent a you can't rent a tube. You're, we're going to restrain businesses to where people can enjoy themselves. It's, the whole thing is just governors get to live in basically public housing. They get to live well. Uh, they they have a good salary, and and maybe we've just reached a point where we need to rethink some of those benefits because some people it appears to me, and he's not the first one that they get too distance from the way the rest of us live. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Paul. I appreciate sure. it. You have a good 4th of July, and thank you, you for joining me again. I appreciate you bet. that. I'm Rita Cook with ACP TV, and this is Paul Perry, Precinct 3, Ellis County Commissioner. Pleasure to serve, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. One, go. Hi, I'm Rita Cook with ECP TV and um, Politics and How to Fix You. And I am sitting here with someone new today that I'm really glad I got to meet. His name is Richard Reno. He is the mayor in Midlothian. And I'm really glad to meet you. I've heard about you and I've never said hello before. So thank you for coming on the show. Um, yeah, you've only been a mayor for a year. And pretty much right after that, this all started with COVID and now and the protests and that sort of thing. So tell me a little bit. This is the 4th of July weekend. How are you guys handling the governor's order and just, you know, having people celebrate for Independence Day with the things going on in the world right now. So we'll, we're having uh, two things this weekend. We're having fireworks tonight. Okay. And then we're having a parade tomorrow. Thank you, okay. and a reverse parade. A reverse parade. <laughs> uh, and we, we're trying this out. And on the fireworks, and we have uh, opened up and today I give a proclamation to allow people to meet in groups larger than 10. Okay. As long as they meet the guidelines okay. of social distancing and okay. things okay. like that. Okay. And so as long as they meet those guidelines and, and outdoors, they're able to meet in, okay. in larger groups. Uh, the, the fireworks, people will not go into the stadium. The, school parking lots available, other parking lots, so they can meet and get with their cars and, and watch the fireworks that way. Okay. The, the parade tomorrow is a static parade. We're going to reverse parade. We're going to have the floats, the entrance of 14th Street okay. uh, on the northbound lane, and on the southbound lane, uh, people will come and drive by. Okay. And we're encouraging them to, you know, paint their cars and decorate their cars. Okay. And people to come by and, and uh, we'll have music playing, okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. And so that's how we're going to do a parade. Alright. So, um, one of the things about this proclamation that you have just um, put <laughs> out today, it, it's basically Governor Abbott's order was that he didn't want more than 10 people in a group, but he also gave 
mayors and county judges the right. um, the ability to make the call based on their own cities, right. and, and so that's what you've decided is probably safer for this city. They understand social distancing and about everything that they believe they need to know about for that. That's correct. We have consistently uh, given guidelines to the city, the council, uh -huh. and but we've allowed people to self-manage. Okay. And uh, as long as they can abide by the guidelines, or they adhere to the guidelines, and then we've gone on and uh, been looking at them quite well through uh, this period. So. Okay. And mayors can override judges, correct? On the, uh, I'm not sure. Somebody said that. Somebody said no. Somebody said yes. Do you have any idea? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, uh, I've heard both, okay. and I've heard, but we don't, we haven't had a problem. So, yeah, because so. since you guys are co, I guess it would be like in a situation where, like I know Red Oak had stricter um, enforcement no. than... I could be stricter. <coughs> the, okay. uh, mayors could be stricter. Okay, and then what happens, like sometimes you don't really know you're going in and out of cities here in this area, and I may have to have my mask on in that city and not in this city, and it, but I'm sure your police officers are aware of that, that there's a little bit going on with all that. Uh, we are uh, the most, uh, well, most passive, most lenient. Okay. We've allowed our citizens, so in Midlothian, uh, uh, you won't have problems here. Okay. Now, if you go to another city, but uh, we, our rules are more uh, left up to the individual. Okay. However, we're still saying we encourage people to follow the guidelines of what right. the governor has said. Okay. So we still have the governor and the county judge <coughs> as a safety net. Okay. And don't, you know, okay. Okay. so we just don't feel, so far we haven't felt it necessary to add to okay. what gotcha. the others have said. Okay, and we're going to wrap up, but I want to say one other thing a lot of people have mentioned to me that you, they felt like you've been very quiet during all of this, and I think you said something very appropriate earlier before the camera came on about why you have not felt the need to just always be talking. <laughs> so tell me what you think on that. Why are you so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think our, our message has been very clear and okay. consistent, and okay. uh, and I feel that the, the council and the citizens, we're, we're in pretty much agreement and step okay. here. Now there's different views. And, sure, and, and always. <laughs> but uh, so what has needed to be said has been said. Okay, all right. And uh, <laughs> and again. Uh, so okay, sorry about that, guys. We had some technical difficulties, and we were in the middle of the conversation. But I think you answered the question. I did. I believe so. And I really appreciate you coming on and working and doing the show with me, well, Mayor Reno. Right. And I'm glad we finally met. Thank yes. you so much. I'm Randy Cook with Politics and How It Affects You at the ECP TV, and we'll be seeing Mayor Reno again, I believe, really soon. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I'm Rudy Cook with ECP TV and Politics and How It Affects You. I am sitting here this afternoon with Sonia. J. Brown. A. a Brown. Uh, yeah. Sonia A. Brown. I got her name wrong last time. I'm never going to forget you because her birthday's the same. Well, we're, our yeah, birthdays are the same. I didn't say that. Yeah, so absolutely. now we're like, we're sisters. Yes. So she is the mayor pro tem with the city of Glen Heights, which is um, actually half in Ellis County, half in Dallas County. So we've been talking to the judge, Judge Little today from Ellis County, um, one of the county commissioners, and Mayor Reno in Midlothian about the 4th of July and the, the latest order that Governor Abbott put out. So what do you guys think about that here? I know that in Ellis County, mostly it's like they're not going to say 10 people. Um, they're just allowing whatever gatherings and expecting people to have personal responsibility. So, Well, personally, uh, for me, I, I stand by and support Governor Abbott's uh, executive order. Okay. I actually wish that he had not been so relaxed, but again, that's just me. I think the relaxation of uh, the order and some of the rules and mandates is what's caused the numbers to go up. To go up. To so go up, you absolutely. mean relaxed from the past? Yes. Like just like yes, opening, yes, yes. reopening. Yes, okay. yes, All yes. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So I really wish that we had stuck with that. Okay. Unfortunately, we didn't, and now we are. Um, we, we're dealing with with this. You know, right, exactly. we're dealing with this. So, but it will pass. We'll get we'll get past it. Right. I think one of the things I'd love to hear what your opinion is on this. A lot of people are saying that the reason the numbers are up is because there's more tests now, and um, also that a lot of people are saying that things are being coded to COVID that aren't necessarily a COVID 
incident. Right. So what do you think about that, and what have you heard about that? Yeah, I've, I've heard that. I, I have heard that a lot of people are, are, or a lot of the tests are being coded to COVID when they mm -hmm. may not actually be COVID. Right. Of course, I can't speak to that right. because Nobody really can. only <laughs> the scientists know what should be coded as COVID. Right. So I would have to trust what they're saying. Okay. Um, as far as the numbers going up, I think it is in direct relation to people getting out and being more active. Okay. Um, is it because we're doing more testing? Possibly. But I think also the, the, the positives are because more people are out and about and not necessarily staying home. Okay. All right. So I know that because because I, I think there was like the security of the fact that it was going to go away, get a little bit better when mm -hmm. the heat came. And mm -hmm. now the heat's obviously here. Right. He's and here. It's, it seems like now it's still as bad as it was or worse. So yes. What yes. are you guys going to do? Are you going to have, will the mayor be um, issuing a proclamation about what Glen Heights will do in addition to what's already been put out, or were you just well, we're going follow to follow what uh, Governor Abbott okay. is, is saying? Okay. Uh, Governor Abbott has has laid down the law and his executive order as okay. far as what he wants to do, so we're going to uphold that. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And anything else you want to say to the um, readers, viewers about what's you know, going on? With regards to COVID nineteen, I would like to see people wear their masks. The reason I would like to see people wear their masks is because there are still so many unknowns. But the one thing that we do know is this, you can have coronavirus or COVID-19 and not have any symptoms. You are also most infectious before you have symptoms. So I know it's, it's your right to not wear a mask, but just think about the people who are maybe in a high risk category. Think about family, friends, and loved ones. If you have it and don't know it, you could unintentionally infect them. And from what I understand, it's no fun to have. Yeah. So while you don't have to wear a mask, I would really like to see people wear masks and just know that we'll get through this and we'll be a better country once we're through it. Right. That's exactly right. I think that mainly the, the thing that I'm hearing from most people is take some personal responsibility whether or not you're told to wear your mask or not. And that's just the adult thing to do. That's the adult thing to no do. No matter if, like, I don't have a mask on right now and you do. And, you know, I do take into consideration people may not be as healthy as I am. Right. And so this is a time for us all to come together, especially with all the other things going Absolutely. on in our country. It's a good time just to come together. And I really appreciate you coming in and Absolutely. talking to me. Sure. Thank you so much. No and problem. I hope you'll come back. And Absolutely. Talk. Okay. Anytime. Thank you, Sonia. You're I'm Rita welcome. Cook with ECP TV and Politics and How It Affects You. Happy 4th of July.